Hello traders and investors, this is Roger Scott. I wanted to give you a little update this morning since the market had a massive drop last night. Right now the E-mini S&Ps are penetrating the 200 day moving average and they look like they're heading a little higher. The Bollinger Band has been penetrated and the RSI, the 10 day RSI is all the way at 14 which is one of the lowest readings we've seen. The only time this year we've seen a reading below that level or at that level was around February 18th and uh, also somewhere between March and April. And both of those times as you could see here the market had a pretty sharp pullback moving back in the direction of the uptrend. Typically in a bull market and we're still in the bull market the stock market will stay below the 200 day moving average only for a few days. As far as news, let's look at the news that we're seeing and this is, this is important, this is something I want you to pay attention to. While right now everyone is focused on interest rates, I believe that's going to pass in the next few days and markets are going to move higher. What I'm seeing right now is tension between US and China. On Wednesday, the Justice Department arrested an official from the Chinese Ministry of State Security on charges of trying to steal trade secrets. I think over the next few weeks what we're going to be seeing is a lot more talk about China and a lot less talk about interest rates. And I believe the US stock market is going to bounce off the 200 day moving average. The E-mini S&P went as low as 20, minus 20 overnight and now it's down 10. And I believe if we look at the VIX index, it's now above 20, it's at 23 but it looks like it's peaking out. I don't believe we're going to see a lot more of this because we're already above the Bollinger Band and we just broke to the upside. I'm expecting levels to go back to 15 over the next week or two. Right now China's the major factor to look out for, not interest rates. The volatility we're seeing in the stock market is big right now. Big volatility works both ways. It works to the downside and to the upside. If we were moving down slowly, if I was seeing this type of trading action to the downside, I would be very fearful right now. But these wide range days tend to be based on panic selling and that means the worst is probably behind us. Worst case scenario, we can go down to about the 251 level which will be the 200 day moving average on the Dow Jones. But beyond that, I'm just not seeing major selling pressure at this time. Thanks so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video please send me an email at support at wealthpress.com and let me know if it was helpful to you. Thank you and have a great day.